So let me proceed and open the box, see whether we get what we expect from this consignment. As you can see, guys, this is it. We've just opened the box. Let me put this one aside. And as you can see, we have the light here. So this is one. Second light, there should be three. Let's proceed. Oh, it's very far, it's far away, it's so far. I mean, okay, okay, okay. Oh, since I'm short, I'm short, eh? <laughs> Never mind, okay. I might do this. Ah, so this is the third light. So these are three lights, yeah? As you can see, brand new in the box. Just open to confirm. Ah, oh, goodness! Oh, oh, and we have carrying cases here. Okay, looks good. They are branded newer, as you can see. This looks nice. Eh? This looks nice. These are carrying cases, and these one are important because when I'll be going for my shoot. Eh? Uh, I can easily carry the light inside these uh, carrying cases, you know, the newer carrying cases. Okay? So, proceed to open, and here is the light. Okay? Let me also open another and see what. Okay, let me turn this. Okay? Things look so good. They look so good. So far, so good. This is the second light. Let me see. And it's also branded. And this is, you can see, uh, newer uh, trademark there. Let's proceed to open the cases and see what. Uh... Oh. oh, another one. Another beautiful light. Oh my goodness. Oh, looks so good. Looks, looks so good. Looks so good. And here is. Oh, it's a manual. Okay. This one is important because it will show you how to connect and you know what you expect. As you can see, you expect a bag, a power line, a C adapter. Uh, you expect uh, the V-mount, you know, interface and, you know, whatever. So, looks good so far. Let's open the third one. Then I'll just uh, put them aside and proceed opening, you know, seeing if everything is in the package, in the box. So, this is the third light here. Let me open. Let's see. Oh... Oh, another casing. This looks good. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. Again, it's branded, you know, super fine, super good, super good looking. You know, looks nice. Okay. So, this is the fan lights. Oh, looks good. Now I'm going to use this. Let me just uh, put this others aside so that I can concentrate on one of them. Continue to see uh, what's inside and you know. 
Yeah, let me just put this aside. Then we proceed so that we get space to continue because we still have stands inside there. You know? So, that aside. Now, inside here, as you say, first, this is the newer. As you can see, here is the, the manual, instructions manual. Yes. Okay. This is the instructions manual. Let me put aside. Then, yeah. Um, customer service. Okay, so, in case of any problem, I can contact them through this. Nice. Let me put that aside. Then, ta-da! The light itself is here. This is the newer lighting. This is the newer light. This is the newer LED light. As you can see, the model is N660. Power, it's using 40 watts, which is good. That's not a lot of power. Then the input uh, should be DC 12 volts to 15 volts. Uh, that's an adapter. And it's by color. By color, it's giving us between 3,200 to 5,600 Kelvins. And... The size is 232 by 200 by 48 millimeters. So, as you can see, uh, I told it's by color. By color means it's two colors. So you have white and white and yellow. So, because it's 660, when we say 660, uh, what it means is that there are 660 bulbs. And of those 660, 330 are white and 330 are yellow. So when you're doing your, your, your shooting, uh, you can now decide the temperature you want because you have yellow, 330 bulbs, and you have white, 330 bulbs. So when you use both of them together, you get 660. Okay, we didn't order for these batteries because it doesn't come with batteries. If you want, you can buy the batteries. But anyway, for me, I, I, I was not interested with the batteries. I'm just going to, to be using uh, the charger, the DC adapter, that kind of thing. Now, this is the on and off switch. When you turn it on your left, you use the batteries. When you turn it on your right, you use the adapter. So meaning the adapter is inserted here. As you can see, it's also indicated DC 12 volts to, to 15 volts. Okay. Now, uh, let's look the other side. So this is the mounting bracket I was telling you. This one allows uh, for you to adjust the light according to the shooting environment. Then you have the knobs here. You can tighten or untighten uh, the brackets, yeah, the mounting bracket. Then, guys, here are the bundles. The ones I told you, bundles, these ones are very important because you can use them to direct your light, yeah? You direct the light source using the, the bundles. So these are the bundles. They are good for directing the light source. Yeah, you can choose to, you know, to direct your light however you want. So it's very important. These bundles are very, very, very important. Okay, then we said, we've seen already the framing, the U bracket, and we've seen the bundles. Now, we are here to see the white diffuser. If we get the white diffuser here, and this is the white diffuser, if I remove this white diffuser, we should be able to see the 660 bulbs. So, let me see. You know, I've never used these lights, so you'll have to understand. Okay, let me see. This is just any which you just press like that. Um, let me proceed and see. Oh, okay. Now you see, you have first of all to turn the knob. 
to allow the white diffuser to come out. Yeah. So this is the white diffuser. Now this is very important because what it does is that uh, it softens the hash light. Yeah. So let me put the diffuser aside. And when you look now, you can see these are the bulbs. So these bulbs are 660. Half of them, 330, are white, and the rest, 330, are yellow.